Welcome to the board. Uh, my name is Sandra Orozco. I'm the chef and the traditional cook from Cultura Con Sabor. Uh, today, uh, we're planning to share one of the fam famous recipe or the award guacamole from the Fallbrook Festival and the Avogado Festival in Fallbrook. Um, we do cultural cooking workshops here in Orancho and part of the cultural cooking workshop uh, experience is learn about the history behind any dish, uh, where the ingredients, when, what part of the world the ingredients come from, so understand a little bit the background of each ingredient and traditions and methods. So today I'm planning to share a little bit about the ingredients of the guacamole um, but I want to share first with you I just find these two kinds is the fuerte avocado and that's the hot so it's, it's a different texture different sizes sometimes but uh, this is more like a creamy and uh, the skin is more thin and this is more the skin is more hard and the texture inside is um, it's a little different, so you have to try it. I don't find the ones who are ready today for this kind, but I found this one. Um, the guacamole we're planning, there's two kinds of guacamole we're planning to prepare today. One is the, uh, we, I name it the guacamole azteca, and it's just with Mexican ingredients. And for me, that will be the, the pre-Hispanic uh, recipe the way the indigenous people in Mexico um, prepare the guacamole before the Spaniards show up to, to Mexico. Um, and the next one will be the mestizo, and that's with more, uh, the mestizo is with more ingredients who comes from other parts of the world. So guacamole, the abogado, um, it's a uh, fruit, we think it's a vegetable, but normally um, we eat it like a, like a vegetable, but it's a fruit. Um, the shape in Nahuatl uh, is avocado, means uh, testicles. Uh, why? Right? Because the shape looks like a testicle. So in the past, um, the women, the indigenous women, are not allowed to go and harvest the avocados from the trees, from the trees. Why? Uh, because the men stay is too much for the woman. Maybe they have more ideas when they pick up the avocados, I don't know. But the women are not allowed. That's something I want to share with you. And um, the way to know uh, how avocado is, is ready, uh, the color is a little darker. And normally they have, uh, oh, I think that this is more than ready. Okay, I have one here. Um, you know, they have the, this part. If you withdraw, squishy the avocado, that's the way you, you can tell the avocado is ready to, to eat. So it's easy to remove the little top. So when it's not ready, it, it's, it's hard. So that's the difference. So that's my way I recognize when avocado is ready. So, let me start with this one. I go around, twist, and that's the color you're looking for. Then I just grab, I do it in my hand, but just twist again and remove the seed. Okay? So, that's what you're looking, so you have to do, depends, maybe three, four. Let's do this one. You know, it's a little more ripe, but you just remove the part you don't like. Something come like not a great one, like this one. This is um. We start participating in the. Guacamole fest, um, contest in 2017, 18. 18, and then and then in 2019. 
So we have the award for the best tasting guacamole. So today you, you will see what is the recipe. So that's what I do. I do the squares inside of the, I cook my avocado. Just be careful. That's the way for me, I like it. So I do big squares. Any reason to do the squares as opposed to just scooping it out with a spoon? Um, no, it's more like a, that's the way I like it. Um, I prefer a, a, a different kind of spoon. I don't have it right now with me, but uh, like a metal spoon is much better. Try with this. So you can just, you see, you don't destroy the, the meat. So that was perfect. So you prefer the metal spoon, but yes. the wood spoon is working it's just fine. It's working fine, yeah. For me, I, I, at least my recipe, I don't like the, the creamy guacamole. I prefer to have like a big pieces, the same size like the other vegetables you have. If you look here, the same size. It is up to you, but this is the way I like it. and works perfect. So for this one, um, that's the guacamole azteca. So we just add tomato because tomato belongs to Mexico and chiles. Um, in this case, I use um, jalapeno, fresh jalapeno. I don't remove the seeds because I like it spicy, but it's up to you. So we add some of this. I want to put the half of this and some tomato. Let's add all. So we live in Rainbow, and a lot of people have uh, bugatus in the area. So this is for local farm here in Rainbow. Just put some salt, pepper, and at the end you have to squish a lemon. You okay? Because you want to keep the the same the color and the acid of the lemon keeps the color of the the green color of the avocado so